Well, hello, everybody. I miss y'all. I'm talking into my brand new uh, Snowball microphone, Snowball Ice. This is a really good microphone. I've wanted to get this microphone for the longest time. I feel like I just wanted to do one of these things just because I haven't, you know, spoken in a long time on Spreaker. Andy kind of turned me on to this one, and it's just a really, really fun little uh, thing to do in the in the uh, you know if you got. You know, just a little hobby, you just want to talk, just kind of blow off some steam and whatnot. Why don't we talk about 2017, why don't we? Let me get comfortable. 2017 was a... It was actually a pretty good year for me. It had its ups and downs, but a lot more ups than it ever did downs. Let's start from the beginning. I, uh, it was January, this is all 2017, January, um, I think it was January, or maybe it was February, the job that I was currently at, they, uh, well, we got replaced, pretty much, long story short, we got replaced, a new company took over, and, uh, we basically either could stay but work for this company or we could just go find a new job somewhere else. And I was working in the mailroom and it was not my most favorite job in the world. It had its ups and downs, but I don't know. I think I was just miserable being there and I didn't want to be there anymore. So this was a blessing in disguise. So come February, I got a job offer from another law firm, because that's where I was look, working at before was a law firm, but I was in the mailroom. I got another offer for a law firm, getting a little more money, but I would always be busy. I was working basically at a, a debtor law office where I just constantly kept getting checks, constantly sending out letters. Oh, trust me. Compared to the place I was before, this new place was very busy, and I was never bored. So then, I get a job offer for another company, I want to say a month later, in March, for Uber's corporate office. And I said to myself, huh? They're offering less money, but you know what? It sounds like a fun job, so I'll go ahead and I'll take it. And they off- they had really good benefits, they offered. So I said, all right, I'm going. So I left this other place, go to Uber. I started working in April. And wouldn't you know it? When I got there, they said, hey, everybody. You know what you were getting paid before? Well, now we're going to go ahead and give you all raises. So I got a substantial raise working, basically just getting hired on. And that came as a huge shock to me. And I absolutely was like, this is the best choice I ever made. (laughs) So when you work for Uber's corporate office, you get great benefits you get amazing perks you get free uber credits so you can use them for uber rides and you can also use them for uber eats so you can get free food free rides we get free snacks we get free catered lunches every day and the best part is my job i don't even have to work like with people the hell i'm sorry that was weird connection just like cut out there for a second sorry about that but anyway yeah so people write in we 
help them look at and we just fix their their issues over social media and i know uber gets a lot of bad publicity and after working there since april and it is now july uh, january i can officially say that it's not nearly as bad as everyone makes it out to be because the media just loves loves to stir up all the bad stuff did they make some poor choices yeah absolutely they did but we do a lot of good things for the community and do you think that at all they'll talk about it in the news no do you think at all they would even try to uh To let people know that Uber is actually a decent company. No. As soon as they hear rape allegations, it's that's all they talk about. Rape this and rape that and oh they know about it. I'm not gonna say that they're perfect, because they did make some bad choices. And they do have some business practices that I'm not really a fan of. But I stand by Uber that if I don't know, if if you don't like it, then why even uh why even stick with them? I just love the people that contact me day after day, you know, whenever I work in the queues. Oh, if you don't fix this, I'm switching the lift as if that's a threat. <laughs> you know. I'm switching the lift. Don't you don't you do it. Oh, please. We do our best to accommodate everybody, but there are people that try to cheat the system and they try to get a bunch of free rides. And do illegal, you know, shady stuff that they shouldn't be doing. But you know what? We call out those people. And we might not get to everyone right away. Because we're dealing with people all over the world. And anyway. It's a fun job. I uh, recently got offered a job back in December. To work for a uh, startup company. And they're offer not only are they offering me a lot more money than what I'm getting paid for Uber, but they're giving me even better benefits. And it'll actually be a schedule that would adhere to my needs. I love Uber and honestly I'm kinda sad for leaving. But the fact that uh, the fact that they basically don't want to work around your schedule and they want to, everything's kind of like a call center environment. You have to sh- bid for a shift in order to get it. And if you don't get the shift you want, well, too bad. That's what you have to do. And when it comes to, if you are uh, if you have kids and you work there, because it's a very young environment company like you can literally dress any way you want they don't have like a very strict dress code it's very very relaxed and you can show up to work in sandals flip-flops and and shorts if you wanted to it's that relaxed and i love uber for that but they're more for the young and if you have happen to have kids it's one of those things where they just need to improve on So, I'm going over to this new company, and guess what? I'm working in the mailroom again. It all comes back to the mailroom, doesn't it? But this time, I'm not dealing with any lawyers. I'm working with a a startup company that is brand new. They're an app called Fair, and it's a place where you can buy cars or rent a car over the phone. Think of Cricket Wireless, but with cars. And if you don't want the car anymore, you can cancel the contract at any time and return it. That's how it was described to me. And I was absolutely intrigued by that. And we're going to be building this company from the ground up. And, you know, I feel like it has a lot of potential. And the fact if I get in there right now and help with this company that it can really go places and I feel as if that we can really make something out of it and also more money 
in my pocket. I can finally start living comfortably for the first time in my life, no longer living paycheck to paycheck. With Uber, I that uh, Uber was the first job where I actually didn't feel like I was living paycheck to paycheck. I was actually saving money and I could go places and spend money and have fun. I went to Vegas in September and it was the best time I ever had in Vegas because I actually had money saved up to where I could do things and have fun and be entertained and not have to walk on the strip and look at something and go, gee, that looks like fun. I wish I knew how that was. You know what I mean? Because everything, if you ever went to Vegas living paycheck to paycheck, all your money went towards living or uh, staying at a hotel. So... I'm happy for Uber giving me this opportunity, but now I'm going to be moving on to this next company the first day of February. And 2017 has been a really good year for me. It's been also really sad. One of the all-time best uh, bands of all time, Linkin Park, Chester Bennington, died this year. And oh my god, that was so crushing. That was absolutely crushing. It it hurt me so much. I was a wreck for weeks. Over somebody who I never even met before in my life. And yet he made such a humongous impact that I just I just couldn't do anything else but just cry every time I heard a song. Don't get me wrong, I didn't really care for their latest album. Uh one more light but I still loved Linkin Park for who they were and just their performance I was going to see their concert when they came here in August and then he had to and then you know he killed himself in July it was awful it was so awful and I was a wreck for a long time when it came to that my son's getting bigger. He's getting older. It's just amazing how just time just flies and you can literally just enjoy all the little small things. <sighs> so, yeah, so for the first time in my life, I can definitely say I feel happy. Last year I was definitely not happy. 2015 I was okay but I'm I'm finally happy now and I have a lot to to owe for a lot of people. I I thank Adele for that. I thank Cena's boyfriend Phil for that for basically getting me the Uber job and the fare job. Thank you, sir. Thank you to my family for always, you know, keeping keeping my head up and and always being there for me. You know, I appreciate all of everything that you guys do. Well, I have a few more minutes left. Uh I hope that in 2018 that um I become a little more active. I'm doing dodgeball. I did dodgeball as of last year. I started back in May, and it was the greatest decision of my life. I love dodgeball, and I love the people I play with. And now, I'm here again, doing my own thing, wanting to be active again. Gotta gotta work off this holiday fat, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, until next time, ladies and gentlemen... It's been real. This is uh, Zach Russie and his interesting podcast. Love you all.